Cats are mysterious creatures. They move with grace and stealth. Their eyes gleam with ancient secrets. We share our homes with these enigmatic beings, yet their behaviors often leave us puzzled. Why do they rub against us one minute and swat the next? Why the sudden bursts of energy followed by deep sleep? And why, oh why, all the yowling during mating? Cats communicate through a complex language of sounds, scents, and body postures. Their meows, purrs, hisses, and chirps all convey different messages. To truly understand our feline companions, we must learn to interpret their unique language. Nowhere is this more apparent than in their mating rituals, a symphony of seemingly strange behaviors that have fascinated cat lovers for centuries. The feline world of romance is far from subtle. When a female cat or queen goes into heat, her behavior undergoes a dramatic transformation. She becomes incredibly affectionate, rubbing against objects and people, rolling on the floor and vocalizing loudly to announce her availability to potential mates. Males, upon sensing a queen in heat, engage in fierce competition for her attention. They yowl, fight and spray urine to mark their territory and impress the object of their desire. The queen, often smaller than her suitors, might seem overwhelmed by their attentions. But she plays an active role in choosing her mate, often favoring the strongest and most persistent male. The most striking aspect of feline courtship is undoubtedly the loud, almost agonizing cries that accompany the mating act. These screams, far from signaling pain or distress, are a natural and necessary part of feline reproduction. The queen's yowl is triggered by the male cat's barbed penis, which stimulates ovulation. While it might sound unpleasant, this stimulation is crucial for successful fertilization. The male's barbed penis also serves to remove any sperm deposited by previous suitors, increasing his chances of fathering kittens. The Queen's cries, while startling to our ears, are simply a physiological response to this process. Section 4. Love Bites and Reproductive Success Another seemingly aggressive behaviour observed during feline mating is the male's tendency to bite the back of the Queen's neck during copulation. This neck bite is not an act of aggression, but rather a method of restraining the female and preventing her from escaping before mating is complete. The queen's cries and attempts to escape are also thought to play a role in stimulating ovulation. The entire process, while appearing violent to human observers, is a perfectly natural and effective way for cats to ensure reproductive success. These seemingly strange behaviors have evolved over millennia to maximize the chances of fertilization and the continuation of the feline species. Section 5. Tender Moments, Post-Coital Grooming. Once the deed is done, the feline couple's behavior often shifts dramatically. The queen, no longer in need of stimulation, will often turn on the male, hissing and swatting at him as if he were a stranger. The male, having played his part, will usually retreat to a safe distance, leaving the queen to groom herself. Despite the seemingly rough start, mating often leads to a period of bonding between cats. The queen, once her hormones settle, might display affection towards her mate, rubbing against him and grooming his fur. These tender moments reveal a softer side to feline relationships, reminding us that even in the animal kingdom, love and affection can blossom in the most unexpected of ways.